Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and uh, lots of questions being asked by uh, viewers on the rollout and the successful rollout of the May 2020 update version uh, 2004 and the October 2020 update version um, 20H2. So, of course, a lot of people on 1903, 1909 are going to start being pushed and will progress towards these new versions. And the question, of course, asked is, are they stable? I've heard a lot of problems are in these versions, that there were a lot of issues. Honestly, they're rolling out faster than they were, and they're rolling out very well right now. At the beginning, it was a little rough. There was a lot of uh, issues that were kind of uh, showed up and were actually Microsoft was putting blockers on them. And so a lot of people... One, I think one of the things I heard the most at the beginning of twenty, uh, version 2004, the May 2020 update, was people saying, it's interesting, I saw the update appear in my Windows update yesterday. Now today when I look, it's not there anymore. And that I've heard very, very often as a comment. I've read it as a comment very, very um, often on the channel in the first couple of months and even later on uh, there were still some of these um, interesting um, you know comments of people saying well it's it's interesting it was there you know for the past couple of weeks and it, it didn't or I did have a couple of people say well you know I tried to install it it didn't work and it rolled back and now it's not there anymore so um, you know that's a mix of the telemetry and of course at the beginning uh, you know, what's interesting in, in May 2020 update is it was tested for so long that it's kind of surprising that they had to add some blockers after the release. But that's why they, they actually do it slowly. Uh, a lot of people didn't see it, and that's because they simply went very slow and were examining what's happening. But kind of interesting. Now, as of today, November the 25th, 2020. The rollout of the May 2020 update is now six months uh, old, and it's rolling out very well. It's uh, actually be it's right now the most popular version of Windows 10. It has surpassed in popularity uh, the versions of last year, 1903-1909. By not that much, but it's rolling out faster, and it seems to be rolling out very well. The background noise that we get from the upgrades is very, very low in the typical range of, you know, um, the comments and the complaints we hear from time to time. The um, other thing to understand, because people have the impression, well, you know, I'm not upgrading to this thing because there's tons of problems, apparently. If you see it, it's because you don't have any of these problems. It's as simple as that. Microsoft has the telemetry, has the information. What they do is they upgrade only the people that they know are um, you know, going to be in general okay and safe and it's going to work. So if you see it, you don't have any problems because they would have blocked it. There are still a couple of blockers for some. And so if you see it, it's pretty safe to install. The other questions I get a lot is, yeah, I'm afraid to go from 20, uh, you know, version 2004 and May 2020 update to the October 2020 update because I'm afraid there's tons of problems. Um, you know, there was one little thing that they did get out that is different, but for the rest, it's the same version. If your May 2020 update runs well, 20H2 is the same thing. They just changed a few little things and a few little tweaks here and there for the start menu and stuff like that. I see people saying, well, I moved on to 20H2 and uh, I lost this. I lost that. It, you can't lo You can't lose anything. It's the same version. What might happen is maybe one option uh, needs to be you know checked again. Somebody told me I said, well, the preview pane is uh, unavailable in 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 20H2 and the file explorer. It is. Just go put the check mark back if you lost it. For some reason, something happened and it it removed it. But for the most part, pretty much everybody is upgrading without any glitches. It's a very small update. Doesn't do much um, in the way of, of changes, except, like I said, you know, the new start menu that is more colorful and with the accent color now can be, um, you know, uh, can follow the 
background colors of your um, operating system, things like that. But uh, for the most part, um, you know, everything is pretty much the same. Uh, there's very little changes uh, in, in this new version. Think about it more as a service pack. Remember, personalization is where you need to go to make sure that all the the background colors, the accent colors, everything is um, all right. So you go to colors and you make sure that you actually um, go and um, put a, a automatically pick an accent color from the background and so on. So that when things change, the colors change. As you see here, my background picture changed. So did my accent color it was blue, now it's green and so on. So make sure that all of that is checked so that you have this new style of start menu if you want uh, because it's really, really nice and it's kind of kind of cute to, uh, to have that. And um, it's really um, a great, great um, little change. You know, it's not a big change, but it makes it a little more interesting. And, you know, next year we should have something really, really big with the complete overhaul of the uh, overhaul of the user interface in Windows. That's going to be interesting to look at. So the rollout is good, uh, and it's a very quick update too. Um, and so, being a cumulative update, it's much less of a risk and of a problem. Uh, and everything is working uh, in general well for most people upgrading to the latest versions. So, um, you know, just um, you can just stay put if you don't want to, and that's fine, by the way. But if you upgrade, I don't think you'll have any problems. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.